everybody! Guess what time it is? Totally local news time. Monmouth County, Ocean County, local businesses, entrepreneurs, and colorful characters in and around the Jersey Shore area, and I'm gonna bring you all the news that's fit to print digitally. NJ woman claims she was selling Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Gucci products. All were counterfeit. All was not Gucci. Courtney Michaels, age 25 of Lakewood, was importing counterfeit bags, jewelry, and clothing from overseas and selling the products through an online website at a fraction of what genuine merchandise from the companies would cost. I gotta respect the hustle. Too bad you got busted. But she was released with a summons. So what does that tell everybody out there? Nobody cares. There's more important problems in the world. This is more of the companies I think were upset. People buying this stuff, they, they had to know. They must know that they weren't buying the real Gucci. The Department of Homeland Security, Lakewood Police, and o Ocean County Sheriff's Office assisted the prosecutor's office in the investigation. It took all those uh, three offices to, to, to crack the case on this one. Did you win uh, last week's mega 179 million mega millions drawing? Did you? I'm gonna guess you didn't. I'm gonna guess you're more likely to be hit by lightning. I'm gonna guess that you're more likely to become president than win the lottery. But if you played, good for you. If you look up the news on people that actually win the lottery and win these mega millions, their lives become horrible. If you're not prepared for that much wealth accumulation and you go out in your regular life, like you are statistically doomed. You think this, this 179 million is gonna change your life? It is for the worse. And also on top of that, don't let anybody know, Uncle Frankie coming out of the woodwork to get the money. Hey, I have this great idea for a, you know, a cat breeding business. They're gonna come out of the woodwork. They're gonna be asking for all this money. I personally wouldn't buy lottery tickets, but that's just me. If, if you want any of that stuff, good luck. Uh, make, sure, uh, make sure your ducks are in a row. 70 years later, Springsteen still visits the same Jersey Shore town. Oh my God, a billion years later, we're still hearing about Springsteen going to some town. Let me guess, he went there as a kid, oh boy. The boss was spotted Friday at Surf and Sun Boutique in town across the street from the Osprey. He was really nice, Leah Tilton, an employee at the store, told NJ Advance Media. He try, we tried not to bother him. That's a good advice. Anybody out there, let me give you a little advice uh, if you run across the boss. If you run across the boss. Look, the boss, it's kind of like the opposite of Bigfoot because the boss shows up everywhere in Monmouth and Ocean County, mostly Monmouth County, uh, which is great. He seems like a nice guy. Everybody loves him. Let me give you a little tip though. If you run into the boss, do not frighten him. Walk slowly with not a lot of big gestures. Seriously, if you run into him, be cool. Don't bother the guy. If you're being annoying, he's gonna peace out. Don't startle him. Don't startle the boss or he will run away, okay? He's good for business, so don't startle him. If, if there's nobody around and he's chilling, you wanna ask him for a picture, great, ask him for a picture. Okay, people, are you swimming out there? Are you swimming? Are you loving the summer? Are you out on the beach swimming around in the salty seas having fun in the sun well jersey shore beach closed to swimming due to fecal bacterial levels there's a certain level of fecal bacteria that you're allowed to swim in there's a certain there's a meter and once that fecal that fecal bacteria level gets to a certain point not from zero there's a certain area where the fecal bacteria they're like there's too much fecal bacteria there's a certain level is what i'm trying to say so there is fecal bacteria in the water. Let's just put that out there, okay? There's a certain level that people say that's too much fecal bacteria and you shouldn't swim in it, okay? And we've reached that level. The Stockton Avenue Beach in Long, uh, in Long Beach Township was closed to swimmers Wednesday after a second water sample taken there continued to show high levels of fecal bacteria. Where's that website where they're just like, they show a meter, a duty meter? And they're just like, that's eh, too much. Eh, that's not too much. We're, we're good now. At four other locations, Belmar, Long Branch, uh, Lavalette, and uh, Seaside Heights were all lifted Wednesday after their second samples had fewer than 104 colony forming units of enter cocky. <laughs> Coxy? Interro Coxy. I like Interro Coxy better than the other ones. Lots of duty on the shore, people. Be careful where you're swimming. You might run into a surprise. <laughs> you might run into a little surprise. Water at the beach was resampled Wednesday and the results will be released Thursday. Ooh, 
I'm on the tip of my seat here. The DEP says swimming in or making contact with polluted water can cause gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, 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 vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain, respiratory symptoms like sore throat. Oh, you're, you're swimming in it and you swallowed some duty water. You got a little duty in the mouth, huh? Uh, wow, a lot of problems. You'll be in deep doo-doo if you swallow that water. Don't get it in your eye either. That's enough of this, guys. I think I went, I think I went too far on this one, so let me know. Let me know if I went too far with the duty. All right, I guess that's it. That's all the news. Uh, check the duty levels in your local uh, beach and be careful out there, people. Totally local. Tune in, share with your friends. And if you have any news to share, hey, hit me up. Share your news with me. Share all of your news. If you have any news and you want to share your news, you can share it with me. You could DM me your news. Take all your news and share your news with me, okay? Privately. Privately share me your news. Totally local news. Monmouth County, Ocean County, colorful characters, local businesses and entrepreneurs in and around the Jersey Shore area. If you have something to share with me, if you want to come on the show and be interviewed, if you want us to come to your location and interview you, if you have some news to share with us, show me your news. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.